All right, more prospects from the scouting combine in Indianapolis. It's quarterback, receiver, running back day. Joining us now, Washington receiver Rome Adunze. Rome, Whoa. welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for having me. Super, super honored to be here. Oh, uh, we, we are honored to have you. On, we know man. you're busy. We appreciate some of your time. How's it feel being here as part of this whole festivity? It's awesome. It's, it, it's really amazing, honestly. Just, you know, the being in the moment, being here at the combine, you know, knowing, you know, I've been watching this on TV for a long time, watching some of these interview clips that'll come out probably from this. Uh, it, it, it's really uh, a surreal moment. Well, you say something really crazy, then this will go viral. <laughs> yeah, you'll, That's right. you'll always be able to watch it. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> I'm not the type to give them the, that sort of content. I just keep it cool and cordial, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this one ends up. So, you, incredible year. I mean, incredible. Thank right. You. I mean, it was. you guys were the most fun offense to watch in college football, really, maybe the last two years, right. really. Yeah. Um, you're going to work out. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I didn't know that until this morning. Yeah. Because I thought like, oh, well, Rome, he's locked. Like, he's right. definitely going to be one of the three first receivers off the right. board. What led to that decision? Well, to me, I just want to go out there and be able to, you know, compete, not against, you know, not just against all the guys here, but, you know, few past generations, generations to come, right? Like, this will be something that I'm sure that will continue for a long time. So just to be able to compare myself and, 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 and see where I'm at entering the league. I feel like it's a fun thing to do, um, as well as, like you said, you said one of the one of the three, right, to go off the board. I want it to be, you know, number you one. You want to be one. I want to be the one to go off the board. So um, if I have to go out there and, and continue to prove uh, why, why I'm the best and, you know, and I have the opportunity to do that, I'm, I'm going to do it. Man, you're my mofo. I like that <laughs> right there. What's yeah. your goal? What's your goal when it's time to put your hand on the ground and run the 40? I'm my goal sub 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's what I've been training, training to go run, and hopefully I'll go get it. I mean – I'm not gonna lie, right? I didn't. I wasn't sure how fast you were, right? Right. I mean, I know you're fast, right? right. But like, you know, we're talking NFL receiver yeah, fast, right? Sure. So one of the things I did question going in the process I was like, I mean, I'm not sure like how explosive Rome is, but I've seen enough of you on film. I'm only through the quarterbacks really right now, right? But your speed actually. You're faster than I expected yeah. or I thought on TV for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah, people have been telling me that my whole life. Is that, that right? Is right. Uh, even on the track, you know, when I was, you know, winning, winning first in state, people were like, "Man, you look like you was running slow. Are you jogging?" But I think like it's just my stride length. Um, You're you know, smooth. Yeah, I'm smooth with it. Um, I got a long stride length, so it doesn't look like I'm, you know, rolling through, right. rolling right. through steps. But uh, I got some speed on me. Yeah, for sure. you definitely. I, I know do. of one thing that can affect a person's speed. Well, two things. A broken rib and a punctured lung. <laughs> not him. Not him. Not, didn't miss a game. What the hell? Yeah. You know, tour doll was... is a wonderful thing. <laughs> <laughs> no tour at all. No tour at all. Um, yeah. What a, what a crazy crazy time of the season. I mean, that is a painful, um, serious condition. How were you able to play without missing a game? Man, you know, I don't know. I feel like my body, you know, knew uh, knew knew what time it was. Knew it was rival week in a couple of weeks because, you know, uh, I feel like it healed up pretty quick. Um, you know, when it happened, I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, it feels like death. I don't know if anybody out there's had a punctured lung, but yeah, uh, it feels like it's going to die. Right. And especially not knowing what it is. Like, in your chest, you're like, what's yeah, going what's on? Going on? Yeah, yeah, it might be your spleen. Right. Right. I lost Ask my spleen, oh, okay, and I thought so, it was yeah. a punctured lung. Okay, so Because I know. was like, ugh. But then I got to a point where I was like, man, this something feels really wrong. Nothing. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, like, right. come on. Like, doctors come here like. <laughs> Like, yeah, Help so me. that's how it was at the beginning. But, you know, quickly through the bye season, trainers, you know, shout out to, shout out to all of them, um, was doing everything that they could to, to get me back healthy, you know, wore some rib protectors and was able to go get it. What's your, uh, who's your idol at receiver growing up? My idol at receiver, I got to shout out Devin Hester. Ooh, um, okay. I really liked him mostly for his return game. He, you know, he was a, a good receiver as well, but um, I used to watch his highlights over and over and over and over again, just him returning the ball. Um, scoring touchdowns, you know, in the Super Bowl, yeah. first kickoff, first of the kickoff game. return. Right? Um, Is there a guy right now that's uh, definitely got, got your eye? Definitely, I'm a big fan of Devontae Adams. I right. just feel like you know he's a, a a very complete receiver from his release package to his route running to his um, contested catch ability to run after run after catch ability. Um, he, he's someone that I look at a lot. Yeah, you got some of that in you. You got some of that, that. Devontae for Thank sure. You. You make a lot of catches when it's a 50-50 situation, which makes it not 50-50. Right. <laughs> that must be your mentality. It's not 50-50. It's more oh. like 80-20. It's more like 90-10. 100%. 100%. <laughs> it's more like 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 100%. You got to have that mindset when it comes to that situation, for sure. How did you develop that skill? 
Um, I just think through practice, uh, you know, something I continue to work on, um, you know, uh, in practice and, and with different drills, you know, catching over bags, catching with, you know, um, coaches nagging on me and, you know, pull, pulling me this way, that way, just so I can get to, because when you get those situations, like, it's kind of like a box out, you know what I mean? Like, it's you, the defender, and the ball. So um, just getting in between the ball um, and the defender and being able to, you know, make an athletic play, I think it's something you got to practice and also build that connection with your quarterback in the game. Anything you hear from coaches or scouts or I, I mean, I, I, you're a pretty smart guy. I can already see that, that you want to go away. I got to get better at this. You know, what's your thing? The number one thing I'm trying to get better at right now. Oh, number one thing. Um, I would say one, my releases and then two, my my uh, route breaks. Um, you know, I look at my releases. I do some split releases like Devontae Adams, but you know, you could turn on my film, turn on his film, and be like, okay, there's a little bit of a difference. So, mm -hmm. you know, for me, that just tells me I still have a ways to go, still have much to learn um, in, in that aspect of the game. And with my releases as well, because I like to look at small guys who are like, you know, 5'10 in the league, you know, 5'11 five, five, that are right. getting in and out of their breaks, yeah, right? right? And, you know, as a big guy, 6'3, I want to be able to do the same thing, you know, yeah. get in and out um, like that. So um, I try and compare myself to those guys in those two aspects, but definitely still improving. I see your quarterback, Michael Penix Jr., yeah. over there. Make, make your pitch. For him, why these teams should be taking him more seriously? Oh, um, I'm gonna just start for one. You know his character. You know you, you've seen him. You know as a Heisman. You know uh, in the Heisman conversation when he was at Indiana, um, when, when he was able to stay healthy there, um, he got tore through college football, put into the mud, and and was able to rise out of the other side as you know being able to take his team to the national championship game. And I think a lot of people always you know are trying to say that he had three great wide receivers, which he did, but Man, we were able, we were able to get what we got done without Michael Penix. Right. Jaden Daniels' receivers weren't no slouch. That's right. You know? That's right. right. Yeah, Man. he had, he threw to some. I hate how they use it for some people and then other people yeah, they don't. Yeah, exactly. That's what drives it's me like, crazy. Yeah, the, the, the people out there they they pick they pick narratives they pick stats to support their argument. But man, go turn on the tape. Like you turn on the tape every time Michael Penix has touched the field and he's been healthy on the field. There's no quarterback better than him. What about what made your guys' connection special? Right. I've seen enough and watched him enough on film. Like I said, I haven't studied the receivers totally right. yet. But every big moment, like the Oregon State game, right. I look at that. And they go, what? It's the biggest play of the game. They're trying to close it out. They just go, you run straight, and you guys figure it out whether you want to throw the go or the back shoulder, <laughs> right? But, I mean, right. how did you guys get that timing and, you right. know? commitment together yeah that one's interesting too because there was a play concept on the other side that they really wanted him to throw and he had that belief in me to go get it and yeah. I think you know that leads to me saying that's exactly what it was it was just like the belief in one another like he knew every time I was out there you know I was ready for for a moment like that and and he was ready to put the ball exactly where it needed to be so um, when you have that connection with the quarterback I feel like that that's the that's what makes it the easiest yeah. when you both have that belief that okay this quarterback's going to put it exactly where it needs to be. This wide receiver's going to go up and take it, regardless right. of where I put it. Um, and, and with that, it's, uh, it's, it's easy to continue to execute. Here's the big takeaway, then. Wherever Rome ends up, whoever the quarterback <laughs> is, get ready. Because he's going to be at your door. He's going to be following you around. He's going to do all he can. Right. You need anything done, he's going to do it. He's going to make that connection with you because right. he understands the value of the receiver-quarterback connection. That's the way it's got to go. 100%. That, yeah, that pretty much sounds how the rookie year goes, right? Yeah, <laughs> you're following people around, doing, doing what everybody asks you to do. So, yeah, definitely be a little bit of that, especially with the quarterback. Right. You guys hang? Like you and Michael Penix off the field? Oh, Madden? Definitely. We play in Madden? Definitely. We doing any of that? Yeah, we, we play some vids. He's a big Call of Duty guy. Oh, um, is that right? I popped on there uh, a couple times, but... Uh, I've been trashed since COVID, so I'm trying to get back into it. But, okay. um, you got other things to worry about. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And he's got other stuff to do. We got to let oh, him go. Oh, damn. Rome, All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Congratulations on your success. Roma Dunze will be back with plenty more from the Scouting Combine. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.